Welcome back to CBS This Morning Saturday. We begin this half hour with an emerging front in the gun control debate. So-called red flag laws allow courts to confiscate weapons from people found to be at risk of harming themselves or others. Today, 17 states and the District of Columbia have passed such measures. Gun rights groups have fought against them. But some say a major loss in Colorado this year may be a sign of things to come. Barry Peterson has the story. Above Colorado's capital, the flags are still at half-staff for Dayton and El Paso. And Tom Sullivan, freshman member of the state's legislature, still has his seat and still works for stricter gun control laws. Are you confident that will happen because you actually faced the gun rights lobby and won? Yes, yes, and I am energized by the fact that our, our young people are, are getting on board with this. Sullivan's son, Alex, was killed in another mass shooting, the theater massacre in Aurora. Sullivan supported Colorado's new red flag law. We're running a circulation for a recall effort. So gun rights groups launched a recall, but gave up facing little public support. These are all machine guns on this wall, legal machine guns, except for this, which is a grenade launcher. Dudley Brown runs Rocky Mountain Gun Owners, the group that led the recall. Did you fail your job because he wasn't recalled? You know, newsflash, we can't bat 100, 100 or 1,000. And gun rights groups suffered another setback this week from President Trump. That is why I have called for red flag laws, also known as extreme risk protection orders. We're going to say call him and tell him what you think of, of his betrayal of principles and, and his base. John Morse, too extreme for Colorado. We call Morse September 10th. Just six years ago, gun rights groups won their recall of John Morse, then president of the Colorado Senate. Now, I am happy that the recall against Tom Sullivan fell apart, and I'm hoping that that boosts the courage of those politicians that are still just pandering politicians, but now pander to gun safety instead of pander away from it, because we are so tired of burying our children. There's going to be more parents of murdered children running for office, and we're all going to take offices on local levels, state levels, and uh, in Washington, D.C. Gun rights groups are now trying to recall Colorado's governor, Jared Polis. But polls show this may be another try, ending in another failure. For CBS This Morning, Saturday, Barry Peterson, Denver. Do you need a grenade launcher? Yeah, that was interesting as to why that's there. not conducting an anti-terrorism operation. Yeah. I mean, some very serious issues being discussed here, but an interesting video. Yeah. Uh, we just saw from Barry's piece there. I mean, this is such, uh, it has been such an intractable issue in Washington, and one has to wonder whether or not these recent mass shootings that we've seen have actually changed the dynamic at all. Um, so it's been fascinating to see what took place there in Colorado. Yeah, and if it can't, things can't get done on the national level fast enough, maybe on the state level, there are some changes that people can make.